welcome. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Joe Swartz with American Hydroponics, and today we're going to talk about pH in hydroponics. We're here today in beautiful, sunny Northern California in the M Hydro Research Greenhouse. You can see a number of uh, leaf crops growing in our hydroponic system. This is the uh, NFT 1200 system, and the, um, it's the basis for most of our NFT growing systems. So today I'd like to talk to you about pH and why it's so important. Many people um, tend to, they know what pH is, but they tend to not realize exactly how important it is and why it's critically important in maintaining in our hydroponic system. So um, we probably remember from our high school science classes that basically what pH is, it's a numeric scale and it's from 0 to 14, and it measures basically the acidity or basicity of uh, nutrient solution. So basically anything that is seven above 7 on the scale is alkaline, al and anything that is below 7 is acidic, and 7 is basically um, neutral. So we all kind of remember that, and if we have swimming pools, we know to test the pH of the water and throw some chemicals in, but we don't always understand why we're doing it. So in hydroponics, pH is kind of um, one of those small little items that people sometimes tend to overlook. And I just want to explain to you why it's very, very important to manage our pH correctly. So in a hydroponic solution, the basis of the hydroponic growing method is basically dissolving nutrients into water and using those to feed our plants. And we can have the best uh, levels of nutrients in a nutrient solution. But if the pH is not in the proper scale, most or some of these nutrients are not going to be available. For example, we tend to use 5.5 to 6.0 as the ideal pH range for nutri hydroponic nutrient solution management. So we always want to think of managing our nutrient solution in that 5.5 to 6.0 range. Now, what happens if we don't stay within that range, if the pH stays too high per se? certain nutrients are unavailable like iron or manganese. If the pH conversely is too low, uh, phosphorus and potassium could be affected. So it's very, very important to keep the pH within the proper range. I like the analogy I like to use is a can of soup. So basically this is a, a can of nutritious food, but without a can opener, all this nutrition is not available to you. So we think of this as our nutrient solution, and we think of the can opener as the pH. This is the critical factor. It's like a key for a lock. So basically, with our proper nutrient solution, the only way we can make that nutrient available is to use the proper pH level, or that can opener. If for some reason we don't use the pH uh, in an effective way, all of this nutrition is, is basically wasted. So it's very, very important to, to monitor on a daily basis and adjust your nutrient solution. Most of the AM Hydro commercial systems utilize an automatic dosing system that is constantly measuring the pH and adjusting accordingly. Um, for uh, smaller systems, for the hobby systems and the lower scale commercial systems, we tend to use handheld meters. And this is one here. This is just a, a small pH and this is an EC meter as well. So on a daily basis, all of our growers need to check what your pH level is. And if it is outside of that range, we need to make adjustments to make sure our nutrients are available. So, so what do we use to adjust our pHs? We basically, um, in most situations, we want to lower the pH of a nutrient solution. And the reason being is as plants take up nitrogen in the nutrient solution, that tends to raise the pH, and sometimes it raises it out of the range of what we need. Also, if we're using municipal water in most areas of the country, the municipal water has a fairly high pH. It's a little outside of the range. So we need to add acid to drop it down. Here's just a common hydroponic acid. Uh, this can be food grade phosphoric acid or acetic acid or citric acid. These are very, very common. They're, they're fairly safe to use um, and that will actually lower the pH back into the range. If for some reason we need to raise the pH, if the pH of the nutrient solution is too acidic, we want to raise the pH and we have a, a product uh, that's called pH up. So basically we want to be able to adjust the pH up or down if it gets out of line. So basically what we want to do is we want to maintain the healthy environment for our crops. We want to provide the right nutrition, but a key to all of that is our pH. Unfortunately, people don't tend to overlook it because we can't see it, we can't taste it, we can't smell it, but it is a critical uh, uh, factor in the success of our growing operations. So what I would suggest is you make sure that with your management of your greenhouse, with your environmental control and your nutritional management, that you make sure pH is a top priority. Um, because you can have the best of everything 
and without proper pH, everything basically can be for nothing. So, uh, and it's also one of the simplest uh, factors in the system to control. So, uh, I hope that makes sense. I hope if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at info at amhydro.com and please visit us at amhydro.com. Um, we have uh, Facebook Live every week, so we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks very much and have a great day.